Gelato, cats, cannoli, churches, hot chocolate, parks, pasta. Hello everyone, this is Father John Wyke's OMV with more images of Rome. Well, with some last images of Rome. Today we are saying goodbye to the Eternal City, but not before I tell you about a few of my favorite things. These are a mishmash of all kinds of different things that I like. It is not an exhaustive list, but they are things you might enjoy. Bear in mind a number of these are located in or near Trastevere, a neighborhood of Rome. That's because that's near where I live. My favorite church, St. Peter's Basilica. What more needs to be said? This famous church is located in Vatican City State, which is located inside Rome. My favorite cannoli. Cannoli is a great Italian dessert made with sweetened ricotta cheese. My favorite comes from the Pasticceria Valsani, which first opened its doors in 1925. They have genuine Sicilian cannoli, but a lot of other treats as well. My favorite church, other than St. Peter's Basilica, this would be Santa Maria in Trastevere. Two popes are buried here, and the columns are taken from the Baths of Caracalla. The church was built in the 1100s and features some beautiful mosaics. Santa Maria in Trastevere is located at the Piazza di Santa Maria in Trastevere. My favorite cornetti. A cornetto is the Italian version of a croissant and is often taken for breakfast. My favorite is at Gran Cafe Carini. Go there at about 7 in the morning and they will be ready to take these buttery treats out of the oven. That's the time you want to get them and eat them. My favorite cat. I call him Pietro, and at 3 p.m. every day he hangs out in front of the Liceo John Fitzgerald Kennedy, a local high school. He enjoys being petted by passers-by and also enjoys the sun. When he saw my camera this day, he went into hiding, but after a few minutes came out and agreed to be petted and posed for pictures. Pietro is located in various parts of the Monte Verde neighborhood, spending most afternoons at the Kennedy High School. My favorite hot chocolate. During colder weather, Italian hot chocolate is a great way to warm up. If you are like me, you will ask for ultra fondente, or extra dark. I get mine at Bar Il Siciliano, a Sicilian bakery and restaurant that is open from 6 in the morning until midnight and is always busy. Order a hot chocolate and you will get a thick and dark cup of hot chocolate, another glass filled with fresh whipped cream, and a small plate of biscotti or cookies. Simply put some of the whipped cream on top of the hot chocolate and enjoy. My favorite park is the largest one in Rome, Via Doria Pamphili. Like many public parks in Rome, Via Doria Pamphili was a private residence of the very wealthy until given over to the state. There are plenty of fountains, beautiful buildings, fields, woods, and many places for a walk or a run. Via Doria Pamphili is located along Via di San Pacrazio. My favorite non-Italian restaurant in Rome. Hey, don't laugh. When you eat Italian food seven days a week, sometimes you want a break. My favorite non-Italian restaurant is Chi Lin. Located right next to Santa Maria in Trastevere, Chi Lin serves the best in Chinese and Taiwanese food. Their menu is very extensive. On this particular day, I ordered their mango and avocado salad, fried dumplings, 
and beef with zucchini. The staff is friendly and they are very popular in the area. Chilin is located at Via della Fonte d'Olio, 6. My favorite museum. Well, I love sculpture. If you do too, then check out the Capitoline Museums. Founded in 1471 and housed in buildings designed by Michelangelo, the museums contain many paintings, jewels, and other artifacts, but is most famous for its stunning collection of marble sculptures. The Capitoline Museums are located at the top of the Capitoline Hill. My favorite bubble tea. Bubble tea is a sweet drink with tapioca balls. It is a rage that began in Taiwan and then spread throughout the world. My favorite bubble tea place in Rome is Te Amo. It's often very busy. Avoid it on weekends, otherwise you will wait for 45 minutes to get your tea. Te Amo is small but lively with hundreds of sticky notes covering the walls. My favorite drink to get here is the grilled caramel, which features tea, milk, tapioca, caramel sauce on the sides, a frothy creamy upper layer topped with small pieces of caramel that are actually singed with a flame. Te Amo is located at Via de Torre Argentina 7, only a couple of blocks behind the Pantheon. My favorite restaurant. During a COVID lockdown that had restaurants opening and closing sporadically, most dining places adapted to the bizarre and chaotic schedule. But one restaurant remained closed. That was La Canonica. Because they get their ingredients fresh every day. They had nothing to pull out of the freezer or fridge, so to save money they stayed closed for two weeks. That won me over. Yes, there are many great restaurants in Rome, but La Canonica always has fresh ingredients. Their bruschetta is delicious, and you can tell those tomatoes are garden fresh. They have all kinds of pasta, all of it freshly made. On this particular day, I ordered cannelloni with cheese and spinach. La Canonica is located in Trastevere, next to the church of Santa Maria in Trastevere, a vicolo del piede, 13a. My favorite gelateria. A gelateria is an ice cream place that sells Italian ice cream or gelato. My favorite in Rome is Miami Gelateria. They have so many flavors. On this day I ordered a cup of vanilla with strawberries with fresh whipped cream or panna on top. Well, that's it. Time for me to leave Rome. I will miss all of my favorite things, and most especially the wonderful people here. But I am grateful for the five years I had here in Rome. To say goodbye, let us turn things over to Giuseppe Verdi and this charming farewell aria from La Traviata. Pezzo carico! Pezzo pronto!